Good evening. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Happy Wellness Wednesday, everybody. I'm going to give a few moments for everyone to hop on. Put my, oh, this is a brand new chapstick. doTERRA chapstick on it. My lip balm. Everybody calls it chapstick because that's the brand. It's lip balm. Brand new one. My dog, Faith, if you've seen my live earlier today, she loves doTERRA lip balm. So, sorry guys, you got crazy hair, don't care tonight. She loves doTERRA lip balm so much. She knows that. She knows when I open it, when I close it, she knows the snap. She can smell it from like yards away and she just comes running. So go and see my live from earlier today with the new May promotions um, featuring Miss Faye Grace. Faith Grace, I call her Faith Faye all the time. Miss Faith Grace, um, this morning, sitting on my side by the, on the chair. She's so cute, she was trying to get my lip balm. Hi Pam! Just giving a few moments for everyone to pop on. Hope you guys are having a good evening. And a great week so far, it is hump day. Thank you for taking your time to be here with me and share this space. I'm so glad that you are here and I love being here with each and every one of you to teach my passion of essential oils. So it is Wellness Wednesday. Welcome back to my 44th live dual broadcast here from Facebook and Instagram where I will be here to share my experience with essential oils, teach and educate you about essential oils, and show you the amazing benefits um, of them as well and give you my personal testimonies and um, teach you a little bit in the same same time. So I am not a doctor and uh, this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. So these are just tools and resources that work for me and these are my recommendations only. If you know someone who's interested in the natural um, alternatives and the oily life, go ahead, like, comment, and share with your friends and family to show me some love, and you can also tag them right here as well. So, if you are catching the replay, let me know. It's all good if you can't join live because the replay will always be archived on my YouTube. Just go on over to youtube.com, search my name. I am not a YouTuber. I think I have like 20 subscribers. This is just a archive, um, that keeps my classes and my education for my non-social media customers and anyone else out there who wants to go ahead and jump and dive into some ed free education. Um, you can, all, all of my current classes will be there um, on the YouTube. All of my promotions will be there. So every first of the month when you know I hop on live, I will be um, introducing all of the amazing monthly promos. That video will be on YouTube. And if there's also a link in my bio and in uh, Instagram that you can go to to get to my Facebook as well as my YouTube. So, let's get started. Hello, good evening. My name is Lindsay I. Marino. I'm an essential oil educator and team leader for doTERRA International. I am also an AromaTouch certified practitioner and a lover of essential oils and all things wellness. In this class, you will learn what an essential oil is. This is a basic beginner, um, essential oils for beginners class. Um, you will learn what an essential oil is, how they are made, where they come from, the therapeutic benefits, how they can support us, and how you can bring these wonderful oils into your home to support you and your family. So let's talk about what an essential oil actually is. You've seen them in the stores, you know they have that little mister thing, and you think that they smell good, right? They do smell good, but there's tons of other benefits to their real therapeutic high quality essential oils. What you see in the store is not a therapeutic oil. So we'll get into that in a minute. So essential oils are essentially um, liquid extracts of a plant, tree, bark, root, flower, or citrus. It is either cold pressed or steam distilled. They have therapeutic properties that can support wellness and soothe many concerns. They are 100% plant derived with no additional processing, preservatives, fillers, or any other ingredients. 
um, a few reasons why we should love essential oils. They are a natural alternative um, or remedy to chemical filled products. They are an easy solution that you can access for keeping healthy right in your own home. So it's an easy button. They are pennies per drop with fast results. Quality is everything. Not all oils are created equal. Please do your research before buying oils on Amazon and Whole Foods, Bed Bath & Beyond, Blase Blase, etc. etc. Um, I am here to educate you and a lot of companies are jumping on the essential oil bandwagon. With essential oils not being regulated, companies can place one pure essential oil drop and fill it with artificial fragrances, fillers, and slap 100% pure therapeutic, they can even say pure essential oil and therapeutic grade or organic. It's not. If you're using a lemon and the label says not for internal use, well, why can't you eat the lemon? Doesn't really make much sense, right? But they want you to put it in a diffuser, which you're gonna inhale it. So you're gonna inhale this artificial fragrances instead of, hi, Ashley, hi, Oscar. And uh, those artificial fragrances, and you don't want that. We want something that is actually pure. So you want to choose from a trusted company like doTERRA. We are different because we have certified pure therapeutic grade. So it's CPTG. If you've seen that a lot, I've posted and shared a little bit about that CPTG and what it is. It's certified pure therapeutic grade. It kind of bypasses organic. It's the best of the best of the best. So essential oils are um, ultra concentrated, so a little goes a long way. Just a drop or two will do you uh, for our topical or dietary use. It takes 50 lemon rinds, 50, 50 lemon rinds to fill a bottle of um, lemon and one drop of our peppermint essential oil equates to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So a little goes a long way. They're super, super concentrated and there's three ways to use your essential oils. You can use them aromatically in a diffuser or you can just open the bottle and take some deep inhales of whatever oil you're trying to use. You can also do um, a palm inhalation you take the you take oil I'm gonna take peppermint I love to call this the peppermint pick-me-up so you take one drop of whatever oil you are needing if you're needing something uplifting if you're needing something calming it depends on the oil to help support you with that specific area so you do one drop in the palm rub, 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 rub. and you're just gonna cup over your nose and mouth and you're gonna mind your eyes you don't want oils in the ears eyes or nose I have done rookie moves plenty of times where I've gotten, um, whoop, crazy hair, don't care, where I've gotten peppermint in the eye after four years. So you're just going to cup and inhale. If you have your oils, go ahead and grab them. I'm going to enjoy this. And then you could rub the rest on the back of your neck. Peppermint's very cooling too, we'll go over the benefits, you know, wherever on your neck, wherever, all over. And that is um, another way to use your oils um, through inhalation and aromatically. And by doing aromatically, doing a palm inhale, using your diffuser, you know, taking a whiff out of the bottle and do some deep breathing, it can calm emotional upsets, it can boost your energy, and open airways, purifies the air, promotes a restful sleep, you name it. Um, there's so many different benefits to using the um, oils aromatically, especially through a diffuser, because when you diffuse, everybody gets the benefits, which is great. Um, and the second way to use your essential oils is topically. So topically, I would like to use them in a roller bottle. Um, some oils you can use topically straight from the bottle. I don't really recommend it. It's not very economical for me. Um, lavender, I'll use right from the bottle to do a palm inhale, uh, but I to cover more of a surface area, I always like to do a little blending in a roller bottle. Now, sometimes doTERRA sells their own pre-diluted rollers. I like to make my own, and when you get started with me, you get some awesome free tools. Hint, hint, roller bottles. So, you can use oils topically in a roller bottle with fractionated coconut oil. This is one of our awesome... Uh, fractionated coconut oils that I like on Amazon. It is called In Vivo Essential. It's organic, therapeutic grade, all natural, 16 ounces. I think it's about 12 bucks or something. Um, and it comes with the little 
squirt top, which I like because you can put, you can refill right into your roller bottle. So that's pretty cool. Um, by using your oils topically, you can soothe tired muscles, you can ease discomfort, you can um, calm skin irritations, support your immune system, you name it. It's just like using them aromatically, but topically on your bottle, on, on, topically on your body. Um, the third way to use essential oils is internally. So you can put them in a veggie capsule. You can put them right in your water. If it's not a hot oil, like lemon's very good. Any citrus is really good to put in your water. I wouldn't put oregano in your water. Peppermint I like to put in your water. Digest then kind of smells like a black licorice because of the fennel. Um, it just goes with different you have to kind of use your own experience. You know, you just have to use the oils and see which oils you really want to. But I will teach you um, hot oils that really shouldn't go in the water um, and all of that jazz. So when using your oils internally, you can ease your digestion and detoxify. You can cook with the oils as well as taking them with in our supplements. Our Lifelong Vitality Pack is infused with tons of oils and that is another way that you can take them internally. And um, the difference between internal and not internal is very, very simple. If you see your bottle and it has a supplemental facts label, which is a food grade label, this is lemon, it has a supplemental facts label, then it's, an, it's good for internal use. It will also say for internal use and the serving size and the milligrams, which is awesome. If you don't see that label, very simple. It's topical and aromatic use only. It's not It's not for internal use. But you can still use it in the diffuser. You can still use it topically, which is awesome. Some safety tips. You want to keep uh, your oils out of your ears, eyes, and nose. Just like I was saying before when we were doing the palm inhale. If it does happen, dilute with a carrier oil. You want to go to a carrier oil, not water. Oil and water don't mix. It will intensify. So say you got peppermint like I did once. I shared on my story. I was going like this. And the tears were literally dry, like coming down my face. And um, I was showing you guys, you know, it can happen. You know, I made a rookie move and I wasn't paying attention. And I, I have peppermint on my hands right now. And maybe a couple of minutes later, um, I put it in my eye and I was just going like this. So you'll just take like a little cotton swab, place a little bit of fractionated coconut oil on the swab and just go around the eye and then do a new one. And it will kind of um, take out the... Um, essential oil and dilute it so you're more comfortable. Also, citrus oils are photosensitive, so you don't want to go in the direct sunlight after like at least 12 hours applying them. And when I say direct sunlight, I mean putting wild orange or bergamot or whatever all over you and then going and baking like a chicken. If you are putting a little bit that has like perfume and you're covering it, your hair is covering or you have a hat and you're just taking a walk or something like that and you're not under like direct sunlight, totally okay. But you always want to make sure, so if you have sensitive skin, just be careful with that. Um, there's a dilution chart that I like to use to go by for making blends for babies, children, adults, and elderly that can be used topically. When you get started, I can go over all of that with you and I can um, provide you with that dilution kit. So we're going to get into the oils. The first oil is lemon, and this is an internal oil. It has a supplemental facts label like I was showing you before. And lemon cleanses and purifies the air when, dilute, when uh, diffused and can cleanse and purify the surfaces too. So it's in a lot of my cleaning, my household cleaning products that I've made myself to kind of um, live a toxin-free life. Naturally cleanses the body when taken internally. Hi Helen, hi Diana. Um, it naturally cleanses the body when uh, and aids in digestion when you take internally. So I like to put it in my water bottle and sip on that all day long. It's very naturally detoxifying, supports a healthy respiratory function. You can put it in honey and a spoonful of honey um, for an irritated throat, and that is like my natural cough suppressant. Um, sticky residue or um, the little ones that are writing on the walls and in the furniture, a little bit of elbow grease and some lemon essential oil, it comes right out. Any type of sticky residue comes right off. It's like a natural degreaser. Also gum in the hair, which is pretty cool. Lavender. Lavender is also an internal oil. There is the supplemental facts label. There's our lavender. And lavender is all things calming. It was my gateway oil and it helped me um, wean off of 
anti-anxiety medication and heavy sleep aids and it just helps be able to remind you that at the end of the day it's, it's going to be okay and you can use it in your diffuser you can put a drop in your tea and do like a lemon infused tea uh, lavender infused nighttime tea you can um, place it on your temples and the bottoms of your feet before going to bed you can also make a linen spray as well which i love my pillow and linen spray with lavender and excuse me on guard which we're going to go over so don't worry it also um soothes a, a skin irritation so i have this in my little roller bottle lavender melaleuca and frankincense and it just skin uh, soothes skin irritations so like i'm a little itchy right here because i have eczema and I have a skin irritation, and it just helps to support any skin irritation as well. And I got off of all of my skin creams, prescription skin creams, and all of that, and it just helps to alleviate and calm and um, support those skin irritations that you may have. So um, if you burn or scratch or have a cut or anything like that, it really takes the sting out. You can cleanse with um, our next oil, which is Melaleuca. Melaleuca is all things cleansing. And then layer with lavender to help soothe the skin and help the skin recover qu more quickly. And when I mean quickly, I mean like 24 hours um, already starting to scab, which is really, really, really cool. So, um, what else? Taken internally, lavender reduces anxious feelings and promotes restful sleep. So when, instead of taking the sleep aid, I was taking lavender because in the sleep aid, there was a lot of um, antidepressants and other chemically filled man-made things into that pressed pill that were just messing with my, my, my brain if it already wasn't being messed with. <laughs> so um, it also helps feelings of um, ease of tension, so if you have head tension or any type of cramping or back aching or muscle soreness, it will help with tension as well. Next oil, we're gonna go into Melaleuca. So this is all things cleansing. It is also known as tea tree. We're actually trying to get, see how it says Melaleuca there and then tea tree underneath? I don't know if you can, if it's gonna, no. But it says tea tree underneath. We're actually gonna try to get tea tree on top and Melaleuca under because everybody knows it as Melaleuca. I mean, as tea tree. Everybody's like, what is Melaleuca? And I have to, you know, tell them every single time what it is. And um, so we're gonna try to get that switch. So I'll let you know when I know. But in anywho, it's tea tree oil, and it's known for its cleansing and rejuvenating um, effects on the skin. I like to call it my zit zapper. So I have this guy over here, he's kind of chilling. I put, a, I did a little bit right there. You don't even need a whole drop. And I, yes, I use this neatly on my skin because on my face because I am acne prone and I don't like fractionated coconut oil on my face. I do make my own skin serums, but I use other carrier oils. And you can go back to my YouTube. Um, with my class called Curious About Carrier, and you can it'll go over all of the carrier oils um, that I like to use. Hi Stephanie, that I like to use um, all over my body, which is pretty cool. So tea tree oil helps to cleanse and rejuvenate the skin, promotes healthy immune function when used internally. This is an internal oil. You can ingest this oil. It helps to support your immune system when taken internally, and I also take it internally to support my skin condition and skin irritation. I'll tell them and it supports that um, doesn't cure prevent treat or anything like that but it supports and I don't have any type of flare-ups or any issues when I go out and about or I'm sitting on a bench or I feel like I'm whatever you know susceptible to getting any type of um, flare-ups so you can also ingest it to prevent prevent uh, protect against environmental threats and seasonal threats. It's also disinfecting, so I like to use it in my soaps, I like to use it in my hand sanitizers. Um, so Melaleuca is a staple in our house. We are gonna go to peppermint. In the beginning, we did a peppermint pick-me-up. This is also an internal oil. It has the supplemental fax label. Here's our peppermint. And we used peppermint in the beginning when I did a palm inhale. And when ingested, it pro promotes healthy respiratory function and clear breathing. It helps digestive um, health when taken internally, repels naturally, um, repels bugs naturally. Cooling, especially in the summertime or if you're in South Florida and it is now 80 degrees by 8 a.m. 
Um, it helps to reduce head and neck tension. So you can put it on your temples or the back of the neck, down the, down the shoulders, because that's where I carry my tension, and most people do. It's also inv energizing and invigorating um, for alertness and focus, and helps fatigue when inhaled. So when I'm doing the palm inhale, it's going to help support all of that. Our next oil is oregano. If you ever heard of oil of oregano, I was using oil of oregano before I got into these oils and then I went back and I just read everything that was on it and I was like, oh, I put that directly underneath my tongue and it was internal and it burned and it tasted like crap and it was just gross. I mean, it did the, the job because I don't like to take antibiotics, but this oregano is a hot oil. Um, you want to always dilute it in a roller bottle or you want to always take it in a veggie capsule. This is the big guns for support. So it's used as a powerful cleansing and purifying agent as well. Um, so if I need, um, I used to say, if it doesn't smell like bleach, it ain't clean. Now I say, if it doesn't smell like oregano, it ain't clean. So I put oregano in my tub and tile cleaner, oregano, you know, if, if it doesn't smell like that, then I, I know it ain't clean. But internally, it's a powerful cleansing agent as well because it helps to support a healthy immune system, healthy digestion, respiratory fun uh, function and offers powerful antioxidants when taken internally as well. So it is the big gum, big guns. Hi, Lessa, hi, Stephanie. So now we're going to go to frankincense. This is the king of oils. It is internal. It is um, the king of oils and it promotes feelings of peace and overall wellness when used aromatically, while topical internal use, uses provide um, modern health benefits like supporting a healthier, healthy cellular function. Um, the aroma promotes feelings of relaxation, good for anxious feelings. You can put a drop right underneath your tongue and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So hopefully I don't mess this up. If both of y'all, if both of y'all, like there's two people here, both of, if Facebook and Instagram, all of y'all can see. Might've been true, but I felt it. And it comes from the frankincense resin in the tree and it helps right under the tongue is your, your soft palate. So usually I hold it there for 30 seconds, but I don't have time for all that for you guys. We, we're trying to, um, I'm happy that you're here, but I don't want to take all of your time and I'm very, very happy to educate you guys. So it helps to reduce appearance of skin imperfections when applied topically. So I put it in my um, moisturizer at night, my facial moisturizer. It also helps support, uh, helps support healthy immune nervous digestive function when taken internally as I did under the under the tongue can be applied to the bottoms of the feet. I do this when I meditate, when I'm doing my breath work to promote feelings of relaxation and balanced mood. I also put a little bit on my crown chakra here just to zen out. I love it. Take one or two drops in a veggie capsule. Um, you, I like it right under my tongue, but if you don't like the taste of it, you can put it right in a veggie capsule to support a healthy, a healthy cellular function. And it's an enhancer oil for blends. So even when I make a blend, I try to put one drop of frankincense in there. It just enhances the other oils. And I always say, when in doubt, break it out. Because it's just a healer of all. I love it. So those are the top six single oils that are the most popular. We're gonna go into some of the proprietary blends that doTERRA has to offer. This is On Guard, it's the protective blend. It is a supplemental um, internal, it has a supplemental fax label. It's an internal oil. This is the protective blend, and it has wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary, and it smells like the holidays. It helps support a healthy immune and respiratory function. It protects against environmental threats. It's proactive, so if you're using it proactively, I have this diffusing in my diffuser every single night with my lavender for calming and restful sleep to promote a healthy and support a healthy immune function supports body's natural antioxidant defenses. So it's help defending those environmental threats. Promotes healthy circulation and has an energizing and uplifting aroma. I like to use it um, on guard. If you don't know, we have a whole line of cleaning products that are made from the on guard essential oil, which is really cool. So the next oil that we're gonna go into is Deep Blue. Deep Blue is our soothing blend. It only comes in 5 ml. So if you could tell the difference, this is 15 and this is 5. This is 15 and this is 5. So this is our soothing blend. It is not an internal oil. This is a massage in a bottle. This is only available in a 5 ml because it has more investment oils from rare plants around the world. 
and it is topical only uh, on the area of concern. Anything that is um, feeling sore or achy joints. It's a blend of wintergreen, camphor bark, peppermint, ylang ylang, helichrysum, blue tansy, German chamomile, and osmanthus. And you can apply it on the feet, knees, before and after exercise. You can massage it um, with a few drops of carrier oil on a child that, ha that is having some growing pains. Um, that you know growing kids legs before bedtime if they're just achy you can rub deep blue on your lower back muscles after uh, every day of lifting at work or during the day the monthly women shark week as I like to call it um, you can apply it on your lower abdomen and the back of your lower back you have to understand women's organs are in the middle of their body so people are like oh I have cramps oh, I have cramps and they go like this and they hold their stomach if you apply it to the front and back it's really going to help support you to a thousand times better. Um, over any sore muscles and achy joints, like I was saying before, anything that is um, a discomfort, any type of discomfort, just apply to that area topically. The next oil is Breathe. This is also a non-internal oil. It does not have the supplemental facts label, which is okay. It's just topical and aromatic. And it's our respiratory brand, uh, blend. It has laurel leaf, and eucalyptus, peppermint, melaleuca, lemon, cardamom, and rabbitsara, and it helps to support your respiratory system. Maintains feelings of clear airways, easy breathing, good for noisy sleepers. You could put it on, a, um, you could diffuse it next to the noisy sleeper's bedside, place a drop on their big toe, and um, I like to put it on the bridge of my nose too because I get really stuffy. It helps promote uh, a restful night's sleep as well. Helps minimize the effects of seasonal threats, nature, pollen, pets, and our little ones, our little doggies do sleep with us and they have been groomed and we it's their first time of getting a really big haircut and it is so much better with the dog hair. I will be doing that all the time, as, mu as much as I need to. Um, probably every three months, I think they said, just to maintain it. So my household, I don't have to vacuum as much. Right now I'm vacuuming all the time, but I don't have to vacuum as much um, I haven't seen as much dog hair everywhere, so I'm super, super stoked about that. So those are our most popular oils that have been put together in a top 10 starter kit with our petal diffuser. Let me just grab that. I don't think I have that here. Give me two seconds. Please hold, please hold. I'm coming back. I put it right there to grab, and then I didn't grab it. And also, do y'all love this shirt? non-GMO. I absolutely love this shirt. So this is the doTERRA um, petal diffuser. So with the top 10 oils and the petal diffuser, um, it, you can help to support 80% of your health and wellness. When getting started, you'll receive a spe special welcome bundle from me with tools and resources. And um, tools and resources and uh, you'll receive access to our private Facebook community, and uh, you'll have continued education and support, mentorship, personal development, sisterhood. We say come for the oils, but we stay for the sisterhood or brotherhood. We do have broteras too. If you're ready to get started, please reach out to me on any of my social media vortexes. You can direct message me on Instagram right here. You can private message me on Facebook. My phone number is posted somewhere. If you wanna text me and say, hey, Lynn, I've been watching you, I've been following you, I'm ready. I'm here for you. You can text me, you can call me, leave me a voicemail, how, email me, however you want to um, chat for a little bit. We can totally do that. So um, we can hop on a call and chat about your specific needs on how essential oils can support you specifically. So again, top 10 oils in the bigger bottles. These plus the diffuser. This is our petal diffuser. This is our top 10 oils kit plus the diffuser. Um, in this kit, there are um, 10, nine oils that are 15 milliliters and that they have 250 drops, okay? The only one that is five ml is the deep blue. It only is available in five ml and it has about 83 to 85 drops. So a little goes a long way. Um, they're very concentrated with 10 oils, resources, tools, um, an education book from doTERRA and me. You can totally change your life from anxious feelings to sleep, tension, digestion, immune, immune support, respiratory, aches, pains, discomfort, and so on. 
excuse me, I could go on forget ever. The frankincense is coming back up. Sometimes that'll happen. You'll you'll burp up a little bit of oil and you'll be like, oh. But once you start using them and and feeling the um, the support and feeling better, you'll just be able to understand how they support you when you start feeling them. So. Uh, also, one more thing, if you are in the Tri-County area and you're ready to receive a hands-on experience with essential oils, all you have to do is reach out to me to receive one complimentary Aroma Touch technique treatment from me to you. Simply let me know a few dates and times that you are ready to redeem this complimentary Aroma Touch and, you will get, and we will get your appointment scheduled. This is a relaxing treatment, takes about 25 to 30 minutes and will be in the privacy, privacy of your own home. I will bring the Zen to you. You can learn more about the Aromatouch technique at aromatouch.com. Also, come see me at the Yellow Green Farmer's Market this weekend in Hollywood, Florida off of Sheridan in 95. I'm at booth 217 for all your oily needs Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 4, 4 p.m. This Sunday, I will be holding an essential oil workshop at 4.30. So if you are local and have been following my journey and would like to know a little bit more about the workshop, this is perfect for you for more one-on-one -on -one education. Also, all of the May promos are in my earlier live from this earlier afternoon. If you wanna go and see that first live, it is also up on my Facebook and the full video is also on my YouTube. That is all I have for this evening and I will see you back here on May 15th for our next Wellness Wednesday. I hope you guys have a great evening and great rest of your week and I will see you soon. Bye for now.